try again. I'm always thinking of creative ways to explain the volumetrics concept. Um, it would be so much easier if we were in a classroom and I could just write it on the whiteboard or whatever. Um, we're not. So, I guess the first thing is, I received this little snack in a um, bag when I picked up a race packet. Um, it's peanut butter and jelly something, bar, and it has 100 calories. This little square has 100 calories. Now, I'm not saying they're good or bad calories. You know, peanut butter is very good. Um, but to me, this is the opposite of how I like to eat. It's too small. This is also 100 calories. This is one of those, um, it, like they're like sandwich buns now, but I forget what they call them, but they smush them. I'll tell you what they call them. Because you might want to buy them. Sandwich thins multi-grain, first ingredient is whole wheat flour. Anyway, this is 100 calories, this is 100 calories, of course, this has protein. Well, this might too. This has 4 grams of protein. This one has, holy cow, you've got to be kidding me, 1 gram. This has 9 grams of sugar and 1 gram of protein, and it's supposedly made out of peanut butter? Okay. It has 9 grams of sugar. This has 2. That wasn't even my point. Okay, so this is obviously much bigger, I was going to say, and less nutritious because I thought it was going to have a good protein, but it doesn't. This is 100 calories with peanut butter and jelly. This is 50 calories. This is what I have if it's early morning and I just want to go run a few miles, but I don't want to be in a completely empty stomach. 50 calories, 100. 100 calories, 100. This is volumetrics. This is about energy density. Um, and apparently, this bar that's supposed to be so healthy is not. Um, anyway, so I want to... I'm trying to think of a way to get you to understand the energy density thing that isn't that hard. And I should have took and taken pictures at the grocery store today because um, it was hard to find what I was looking for online. Um, and I might bring this in closer. But these, this is a price. These are the tags that are on the shelves in most states um, at the grocery store. Let's pretend that these are three different brands of ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Um, so all the ice creams cost $5.49, but this ice cream is 8.8 .8 cents per ounce. This one is 9.4 cents per ounce, and this one is 9.8. So they all cost the same, but per ounce, this is the cheaper product. This is the one that I would buy. 100 calories, 100 calories, 100 calories. Now, if I weighed them, this would weigh... Well, if I weighed them and divided them in, I would know how many calories per gram. So these obviously have less calories per gram because they are more, this is more energy dense than these. So they're going to have less calories per gram so you can have more of them. So buying this or making this yourself with Smucker's All Natural Peanut Butter would be the equivalent of buying the ice cream that was the cheapest, 8.8 .8 per ounce. So sometimes they're all nutritious, but they're but you would go for the lower calorie. But in this case, the one that's supposed to be the most nutritious is the least nutritious and has the most calories. That's just, just floors me still. Um, so I hope that makes volumetrics a little more practical for you so that you can apply it in your everyday decision making on food. And maybe I've helped you do your grocery shopping too so you can save a few bucks so you can buy um, maybe those 100 calorie packs which cost a fortune um, of some things. But otherwise, like I said, I made this myself. Alright, there you go.
questions, please comment on the blog and I'll try to answer them. I mean on the video and I'll try to answer them.